Galaxy Turmoil. It, it Turmoil is a conceptual demo that was created by volunteers with zero funding. It's a prototype. Licensing. More licensing. And welcome to Crew Walkthroughs Gameplay Video of Galaxy Turmoil Conceptual Demo. Uh, and there's one, and here we are. Playing game which Jeez has gone through a lot. Um but um yeah this was originally the battle this was originally going to be a fan made Battlefield 3. A Battlefront 3, never mind. Battlefront 3 Battlefront 3, but was shut down by LucasArts and EA four years ago. In 2016, I think. Um, as they were busy wanting to make an EA or basically they were wanting to preserve the Battlefront name in case they were going to make a new one, which they did. I don't, I think that was before, um, this, they took over, um, Star Wars, but I forget. But they, but this game has been in development for four years, which is one year longer than most game, than most, than the standard development time of most games. Uh, I did spoil myself by reading the reviews on it, of it, on Steam, and it's 50-50 whether or not, this, whether or not it was worth the wait. Um, so here we go. Now you do need to register an account off Steam on their site. Which is odd because no one else does it that way, but their terms of service, their terms of service, kind of, uh, uh, kind of, uh, kind of generation policies and what, and privacy policies are right there for you to read and they don't seem crazy, so it, 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 maybe they just want, maybe they just want a platform for when you, uh, for when they do release the game in full. Um, for people to already have to buy without having to go through Steam, I'm not quite sure. It's kind of irregular, to be fair, uh, because most games that require, that require an other account also allow you to log in for Steam account if you like for the other account and have a back and have a off site uh, off Steam account if you want one or if you want to access extra features like in Paradox games. But anyway, let's look at gameplay. Toggle spread. Press and not spread. Press one spread. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so they changed them. That's really nice. Now this game, from the screenshots I saw, is pretty much... Uh, or basically they want it to be the ultimate... Battle front like game. For the point of being able to go from ground to sky, uh, ground to space in the single game. But we'll see if this is has anything on... Uh, this has anything on... Ah, oh, jeez. Angels Fall First. That's the name of, uh, that's the game I was thinking of. Uh, and also, I need to get used to my new set, uh, my new setup for my uh, mouse, so I might not do my best this game, but we'll see. Not borderless. Borderless sucks. Also, we need this. No limit. Bigger scale percent. We set off. Ultra fresh, ultra fresh. Ultra fresh, here's. Best kind of fresh. Well, what can you go up to? 120. Not bad, but going down to 165, that's interesting. Go right back. Hey, that should have saved. Oh, well, let's try 65. Let's try 65. Um, here we go. The server browser and match menu, that's really good. And host game. Uh, of course, if the server browser, then there is a uh, host game. Um, by the way, it is uh, 10 35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. No one's on. I mean, this thing got released literally just today, so. Unfortunately, there's no bots, but I'm not going to do my famous bot speech. Because it is a conceptual demo of multiplayer only and it's free, so it doesn't need bots. However, everything needs bots. So I think it should need bots. Oh, and the thing is terrible. Like... Average 60, that's a terrible thing, but anyway. I guess let's try fighting against four people. Oh, that's cool. Also, we're going to see this game has control support. I doubt it. 
with their aliens, their aliens, okay? Two alien species. We have guns. This is very. I mean, for something that's. Oh, there are bots. Fantastic. Uh, do we have choices on guns or just the classes? Looks like just the classes. Yeah, oh, that's totally syntax. Okay, there are ch uh, stuff for that. Here's the upper packs. I guess the easiest thing to do is just go. Dang controller. Oh, oh, yes, controller actually does work. My word. I was not expecting that. Thank you, Steve. Okay, this is the spawn gate. It's actually on the tank controls as well. Oh, shooting with, uh, shooting with, uh, right stick. That's not gonna get a job done. Let's switch over to PC. Or, what's the keyboard? Because we're on PC. Like, this game looks very conceptual demo. What took four years? Uh, is what a lot of people have been asking, too. Like, this game looks very basic. Oh, God, you're defending this area. Fantastic. Like, this game looks very, 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 very... Now, so is there an attack when they go down? It should not do that. I mean, it's just starting to neutralize, so it's probably turning into like a HUD. I mean, the game is smooth. Oh, that's good. Oh, you can't turn the back. Oh, hello. So this guy, I'm glad you know when you jump someone when it's when it gets longer. Not bad. So there are no enemies. There's barely. Any, oh, there we go. Got me. Uh, a big buggy when you come out of battle after shooting somebody, so let's do engineers, see what they're all about. I'm assuming that, I'm assuming rangers are shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, there are, yeah, there are bots, interesting. I wish it said so. Uh, I guess when you host the game, you can see if you can go against bots, but, you know, having four people is fine. I mean, like, there's a lot of care and attention in this map, despite the lighting engine looking very, very basic on Unreal, Unreal Engine 3. Or 4, regardless. Uh, I'm saying it's a healing bot. The reflections are nice. I mean, like, there's care and detail going on to going into these levels. Oh. I have a. I, oh no, that's a deployment thing. Okay. I saw that. Oh, the shotgun's one shot. Uh, at point blank range, but I'll take it. Shotgun feels nice by how by how. Oh, come on. Oh, you have to, wait, you have, you have to actually reload the shotgun. Interesting. Yeah, this, game, this game in the uh, ring chase is amazing. What? Okay, I dropped my thing, got syntax. Gameplay's frantic and fast. While also being a bit tactical, which it should be. It feels a whole lot like EA's Battlefront, to be fair. It feels like an odd in-between. Yep. I love this shotgun, it's so good! Even though the real animation's about the best. <laughs> but, you know, it is a conceptual demo. Oh, and then we got a hover pack, of course. Jeez, uh, talk. Okay, that makes sense. Even despite if you misclick, you were going to talk, which is not good. Oh, but if you miss your shot, you miss your. Sh you probably missed opportunity to get down them. Did 
you have me for you have this reloading okay we're not going to solve it today the shield of where the objective is which is good the other pack's not bad I I heard people were I mean uh, on Steam some uh, one of the reviews was complaining about the movement. Well, that seems fine. I don't know what the, don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, it's probably more efficient to run up to someone in shotgun as opposed to trying to just shoot it up from a distance. He looks a demolitionist. I assume we got a heavy uh heavy weapon. C4, clutch. Clutch is a grenade launcher. Here we go, over go. I'm gonna get turned around. It's too late! We've lost! Save yourselves! Okay. Overall, not bad. It's a you know it's a free game, and if you just want, if you just want another uh, another option to play a Battlefront slash Battlefield like game, it just feel like Battlefield 2 actually. Like it feels like we're playing Titan mode from um, when you're on the Titan, of course, at the very end of Titan mode from uh, ba uh, from Battlefront 20, uh, 2142. That's what it kind of feels like. Okay, let's try you again. I wonder if there's any other maps. That's a door? Yeah, grappling up? No, we got some more. What is this? Oh, it's like a land. Oh, I thought it was a machine gun. I was expecting a machine gun. Is that me? Oh, wow. Man, this game does not like the close quarter weapons. Yeah. Remember you F beans in this game. You F beans. It's probably the only map. I could be wrong though. You know what? I like it. It's not bad. I mean, it's very, very early, despite that being worked on for four years. But that, that, but they did say that. They didn't say this is not being sold for any monies. It's not. Uh, it's not being sold for any monies. It is. Um, it is a free tech demo, effectively, of um, a free tech demo of the. Um, of what they started working on a long time ago. We're gonna F this. Did we already F it? I guess so. Oh. Reloading. Gotta reload. Major close. So basically you're either good up close or you're ter or you're terrible. Oh, we were ha okay. We had to install the hack, and now we're hacking. You should say that. Or were, def or were we defending it? Oh, uh, yeah. No, we were okay. We were hacking it, and then click on this. Up, oh, reload. Can I reload? Overall, I'm liking all the classes, which is a good thing. You want to like all the classes. It's something that Battlefield kind of got away from for some reason. Like this guy. Uh, it's kind of explosive. Okay, we got it back. We got it back. No, it's just don't let it get hacked twice. Oh, switch. Now, the HUD's good. It's it, it better. It gives you more information. It, basically, the, it's not as cluttered as it is in Angel's Fall first, but it could give you more information. Like, what we're doing at those objectives, like in the modern, um, like in the modern, um, like in the modern battlefronts. Hello. 
And get the blue, uh, and the blue. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. Oh, lag, 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 lag. That was lag. That was all lag. That was nothing about lag. And like that spawn right there is the not great. I wish the hover pack was more. Oh, you could do more, more stuff of it. I mean, it, it fits its definition of hover pack pretty well. What was that? Oh my worries, terrible. Oh what? And also the reticle on this is not good because it doesn't show you where the shots are actually going to go. It shows you where you're aiming, but it doesn't show you where the shots are going. Yeah, that was terrible. That was a good three reticles outside of the reticle. That why is the reticle like that? Why have a reticle if it's effectively useless? Um, so, yeah, the reticle definitely needs to actually show what you're, show the actual chances of being, uh, actually show where the shots might go, instead of whatever it's doing. Which is, I guess just aim, up uh, aim? Oh, oh, it's a one shot? Man, this game has lethal weapons. Nope. Yeah, I don't think I like the assassin, at least not on this map. Let's go back to Ranger, because you were the first one who tried. Uh, apparently the uh and maybe the different aliens have different I have different effects going on, I have no idea. I would think so. Maybe they could maybe they maybe they're just cosmetic. But why would you customize it in match if they're just cosmetic? Now, I wish you could unhack the console, but that might make it too hard for the uh, for, for the present day. Yeah, they have to burst this thing. Oh, yeah, everyone has a standard animation, it looks like, for reloading. Which, to be fair, in a lot of third-person games, that, that's a common trope. Is everyone has the same animation for everything. I think even Mass Effect does that. Run, 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 run. Oh, he was running away from me. I was running away from him. No prone. There should be a prone in about. Okay, maybe not a Balfour game. To be fair, in a class Balfour game, there wasn't prone. But there friggin' should be. Jeez, having prone is always a good option. The only reason not to have prone is if the control team doesn't support it, or if the game plays with too hamper if you have if you have if you have prone. Also, the box is not bad. Again, I wish I told you the head box. I wish they would have somewhere on the. Its box is a selling point. And bots should be, and you should know if a server has bots or not. Unless every server has bots. Then you should tell, then you should tell people every server has bots. Don't look at the actual number. Uh oh. I think this is a little too inaccurate. It makes it not nearly as good as the other plus primary weapons. Well, we can't win every battle. Yeah, I don't think they assault very much, which is odd because they usually like assault. I, uh, I guess that was Siege. Mission mode, there should be a land. There isn't. Oh, uh, resets, okay. Up to 40. Oh, you can't max up the game with bots, really. Oh, there's only one. There's only one map, which is that arena type map. Four soldiers deployed. 
We're just killing. We're just killing people instead of chicken eggs. Oh, these guys have ammo stations too. Okay, it's like pistol gonna be better. Oh yeah, the pistol's a thousand times better than the than the than the rifle because the rifle is just so inaccurate. It, even at, even in close range, it's terrible. The pistol is just vastly better. The only flaw it has is having a small magazine. And maybe limited range? I have no idea. Also, why does the pistol and the sniper rifle appear on the same side? But the sniper rifle clearly is completely inaccurate. Oh yeah. I mean he had no, you know he had almost no health, but still. Oh my word! We found we found a new Magnum D. Found a new sparring pistol. Oh, really? Jeez, we found a new farm pistol. It's so good. But to be fair, everything in this game is over hard. And again, the bots are actually really good. They're better than any bot you find in Call of Duty game. That's a fact. They're actually better than most bots in single player games today. Building. Man, I can't. Oh man, this pistol is so good. I use anything else. I mean, other than for a magazine, you don't really need to use anything else. Oh, oh, we're out bullets. Sending fire is also open fire. I mean, I think they're good, and then they do whatever that was. I mean, okay, if you burst it like that, did we win? Uh, if you burst it like that, it's fine. Okay, never mind. You, you, you don't click. You don't click them to be good. Oh, I even chose you how your armor's damage too. Fantastic. I uh, will play two matches of this and wrap it up. Okay, that white's health. Again, like if the if the sorry fall or the uh, spate, if the spate didn't have or the spot eight, spot eight, spot, spot, probably spot. Uh, if the spot didn't have um, an insane recoil, which makes it extremely hard to use compared to every other weapon, uh, and completely useful except in a situation like this, if you will. Uh, then, uh, then it would actually be pretty good. I mean, then it would actually be as good as everything else, but it is actually... Right now, you have to tap it, which I guess is a thing in itself. But I basically got pretty much use a semi-automatic. Well, you're okay. Semi-automatic, unless they're really in your face. Uh, I guess that's fair. I mean, it should be a battle rifle instead of a sword rifle, to be fair, but still. Let me get... Oh, man, aiming is uh, not as granular as I would think it would be. I like the I like the amount of health you got in this game. Overall, I'm really liking the gameplay loop. Oh, there you go. We're gonna keep. Now let's use our shotgun. Yes. And this dude. Aliens look good. Like they don't look they don't look too standoutly though. They look like and I'm a generic alien number one. I'm a generic alien number two. They they look good, but they don't look they don't look like they stand out. Oh, shotgun! It makes people do it. That is a picture. And I took the spike. The shotgun is basically uh, is basically a more a basically hard to use pistol. <laughs> But as uh, Red Dragon pointed out, the, pistol, the, the sparring pistol from Halo CE, if it was shaped as a DMR, it wouldn't be, at, it wouldn't stand out this much, especially the SR going to the machine gun. That basically the BR and AR, a BR and machine gun combination is from Halo 1 to Halo 2. Uh, that would be a thing. 
but it wasn't. It was like a pistol, so therefore it was, it's an overpowered pistol, but it doesn't make, but it's not, oh, here we go, what punch? I haven't seen AI do it, so I doubt you can do it. But this game, the pistol is legit overpowered. It's better than the Asari in every way. Making the, but basically the Asari bullet is uber weak. But again, it's probably just because I'm, I'm not used to it. But, and also another thing is everything is hyper lethal in this game anyway. It's just that it's just that the sorry full requires skill to use and why use the sorry full if you click people if you just aim at them. Click. Oh, we're out. Ah, oh, Nero took the three. Yeah, that's just the problem with this build of Windows that is that exists. It, it's a it's a software manager thing. Or it's a hardware manager thing, so that got me killed, but you, that never gets me killed. It was my first time getting killed by it. That usually only annoys me in uh, in strategy games. Not this. I wonder why. I wonder why. The, oh, can we crouch? Ah, near what? Why is it let me do? I mean, okay, that's that was that's the Windows key. In case you didn't realize that. Um. So I, I accidentally Windows key. I thought I clicked the screen. That's fine. I would blame it on Windows key being Windows key. And this game is constant action, the map is pretty fun, it even, the map is pretty fun even, however on Siege it doesn't, Siege isn't, Siege isn't is the best for this map. This map is not really for objectives to play, it's really meant for this, at least it feels that way. I almost, I almost the map's supposed to be more like Conquest, which probably is, but yeah, I, I, I mean, at least in the, at least in the game's current state with the information that appears on screen. Oh, I clicked off screen again. I don't like how the game allows you to click off screen, despite it, despite you playing a freaking shooter. That's very highly irregular. I think that's the issue I'm having is you can click off screen somehow, which the game should capture your mouse when you're like this, when you're shooting, when you're using it as a perk. Man, this map is so good like this. Oh, I clicked off screen again. You can tell by the fact my gun doesn't work. Yeah, it should not allow you to click off screen. It won't be, um, unless you're in a minion. Unless you're in a minion. Also, there's no reason for auto reloads not to be in this game, really. Like, it's not trying to be uber realistic or anything like that. And only those games can really get away with it. Also, why no, uh, first person? That's weird. I'm not saying this third person is bad, and we need more third shoot uh, third person shooters on the on in on uh, uh, uh more third person shooters in the friggin' market, but still. Well, out of bullets. There should be a warning when you're out of ammo because if you're warning for everything else, you're expecting to be a warning for out of ammo. Yep. And I don't like how I, I don't like how I let you double click and really miss this video. You know, it's not a sorry bullet. I mean, I think making it work is basically just making it semi-automatic. So it's not an assault rifle, it's a battle rifle. Assault rifle is allowed to go fully automatic without having to worry about sense of recoil, whereas battle rifles, automatic is only for emergency most of the time. That's just the general rule of thumb. Hey, this is an emergency! Open fire. And this game really loves the whole Call of Duty always reload. Like, it's just how it is. Probably, probably, be, uh, most likely because of the fact that you have to always reload. Which is basically what I've come to, uh, I've to myself too. Because why not? But still, it should have auto reloads. It doesn't feel like it shouldn't. Also, for how clever the bots are for moving, they really suck at the whole, um, there's a dude in the room, we'll bring fire! Dude, bots doesn't take a cheap light bulb. Oh, there's a kill cam! Why doesn't that work most of the time? Okay, I actually need an ammo station. 
subjects. It's the grenade. Overall, I like it. I'm definitely in the 50%. 50% that's good. Okay. Like, as odd as it sounds, is it took us four years to make a tech demo. I mean, I bet, I bet they do say up front. Um, they do say up front that it took us four years because we don't get paid and we're a small team. But Angel Fall First is a small team too, and they have a game. And they don't have a tech demo. And they've been filming for about this long too. Or they. The first version, the one I got, was probably, they weren't in development, probably wasn't in development for that long. Oh, Something in this record. Oh. Like, sometimes you can click through the, uh, sometimes you can click through the kill cam, which is odd. Why should you be able to click through the kill cam? The kill cam should be a click free zone, so you don't spam click every time you go down, because you're going to with this oh, rifle. Okay, if we get a 150, we win. Because I don't think I set an actual goal. Which, by the way, the default should always... The default of when you power up the game should always be... Um, should always be whatever the, whatever is the best game mode in map is. Or at least whatever is most representative of, of the general gameplay or is easiest to get into. Like for example, you could argue the best gameplay in map is the largest... For Battlefield, it's the largest, ba it's the largest Battlefield map with the highest ticket count you can possibly imagine. That is the best. Some, most people might, or some people might agree that's the best battle for map. But most people are probably willing really to agree it's around 30 to 40 minutes. Um, it doesn't take too long and the map's pretty moderate size to start out with. So uh, that's what we recommend is instead of defaulting everything to it's just a gun fest, it's, it's just a kill fest, you fall it to the best parameters which you think the people want to enjoy the most. Uh, I switch the video. Well, again, I think I think the majority of I think the majority of people who um, uh, the majority of people who are giving this game negative reviews are probably upset as to why it took four years because this doesn't look like four years to me either. This looks like this looks like it. This looks like me. To me, this looks like a game that. People were trying to make in their off, off, off time, um, and it, it just took that long because people weren't really focused on it, um, and they had to restart it over and over and over again. Uh, like for example, do, uh, like for example, Duke Nukem Infinite. You know that was the result of a 12-year development cycle, but it, it was a 12, uh, it was 12-year development cycle because of the nonsense that happens if you delay game indefinitely. It's just not a pretty picture. There you go. No, we still got sound. No one's shooting their gun. Why is someone shooting their gun? Open fire! Overall, I really like the gameplay loop. I wish I wish that there was a bigger map, but this gives you the general idea of how gameplay works in a close environment, which is fun. Um, it's a nice arena map. Um, it's a nice central hub map. Um, the spawns could have some work, so they're not as odd. Um, this game, uh, you could use, uh, the game looks a bit too dark to me, in terms of terrain, like, it's hard to see things, but that's also a side effect of early games on Unreal Engine, that's just how early, this is just how early games on Unreal Engine work, work. despite, despite the open care that I do see in the, in the models and stuff like that, it is kind of hard to see where things are, it's a bit too crowded and dark and stuff like that. Oh, perfect. You win! You win? Question mark? Alright!
Alright, so, um, yeah, that'll be it for this gameplay video. What do I think of Galaxy and Tormel? You know what? There, I'm going to pose two questions. Or, uh, I'm, I'm going to give you two answers. Was, okay, what, um, how was Galaxy Terminal, and is it worth your time, because it isn't worth your money yet, because it's not, you know, it's not pay, uh, paid for yet, but is the conceptual demo worth your time? Yes, yes it is. Um, if you want, if you, you know, a, a third-person shooter with multiplayer is absurdly rare. A third-person shooter with multiplayer that plays like a first-person shooter with multiplayer is even more rare. Most third-person shooters with multiplayer play basically like either Gears or Mass Effect. Somewhere on that spectrum of uber cover um, or more open with cover and more technical. Galaxy and Turmoil plays like a th basically like a first-person shooter. It plays like the classic battle fronts with a mix. Basically, feel like the big gameplay of Galaxy and Turmoil is a mix between classic battle fronts and modern battlefronts or EA battlefronts. It's a mix between. It's it's an in between. It's not a mix. It's an in between. It's really really good. I really like it. They took they took wanting to make a fan made third game and made it and, and started making their own project from it. I would really love to know what took four years, but if I had to guess, which I I'm a dude on the internet producing a video on something whether on something on the topic which you're interested in. Um, so I have to guess, was it were, uh, you know, why, why they took four years? Because a fact we know is, they took, it's a fact they know is, A, the game had to come out of another game. Another fact that we know is, it's an uber small development team doing it in their free time. If this was a mod, no one would bat an eye. Literally no one would bat an eye if this was an actual mod for four years development time with uh, with devs who are doing this in the free time only in their free time and maybe not even in the full free time that you know that like for example I'm making a game in my free time I'm making a take them all myself in my free time will it, will, will it be done in four years oh yeah I will but my, my my plan is to only develop it for like a year or two and have it release before after at least my table talk game which I'm which I'm planning for three year development um, but that's because I'm, I'm more dedicated to it. I don't, I'm not saying that they weren't. The environment looks like they took their time. The gameplay looks like they took their time. Character models look like they took their time. Like, there was heart and soul that was poured into this. It just doesn't look it because it's using, uh, because, it, because it's an, er, because it's an early, it's not really a customized Unreal Engine yet. When they get time to make start making this into a full game, when they start customizing the Unreal Engine to make it look different than every unfinished game that looks like this, that that's new on Unreal Engine, then that will make it look like they use their time. Uh, that'll, make, that'll make it look like four years was worth it. Another thing they were doing it for free, which again for a mod, like this is nothing. But to me. Like, was it worth waiting four years to me? As someone who's been following this project since literally it started, more or less, when it was more open to the public, I would say, is it worth... Actually, yeah, literally, when this project in, when this project in particular, Galaxy and Turmoil in particular, was started, is it worth it to me? I say yes, it is. This is a game that deserved to exist. So therefore, it is worth it. Was it was it worth my time, personally, to wait four years, and hope this game would help this game would exist? Yes, I think it was worth it. At least right now, we'll see how the full game is. We'll see what cost it is. Um, but right now, it's well. Right now, it is an actual tech demo, conceptual demo, tech demo, more or less same thing in my book. I don't know if they're actually different. They could actually be different. I I don't know, but at least for. The statement, at least for this video, it is pretty much, it is pretty much the same. So it goes back to the first question: Is it worth your time? Yes. The gameplay loop is really, really, really good. Um, there are bots to fool around in. Will this take up all of your time? Probably not. 
Will you enjoy your time that you spend with this game and booting it up every now and then if this never gets developed? Yes, it is worth your time. Is it worth your time to play the game to at least show the developer's support? And the conceptual demo did good. I want to play the full release. I want to at least see where this game goes. Yes, definitely play it for, definitely play it for that. I can understand why people are upset that this took four years. Because it is literally a tech demo that took four years. Um, but I, 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 I'm supposing developers should probably come out with a Steam, uh, with a Steam blog, stating why it took four years exactly. That would really help right now, as it is 50/50 on Steam. That's never a good thing because I personally take off games that are mixed on Steam, uh, off my wish list. Um, if it, it, well, not well. I would I will look at them if they release, but I never look at them after they release. If they if they turn mixed, um, and if I never really was focused on them anyway. So a mixed game on Steam is bad, um, and like it, it's a good game. It's well, it's a good tech demo. Uh, would this be a good game as is if they added more maps, more equipment, more everything? I would say yes, it would be a good $20 game, at most. Most $20 flat. Maybe $25 if you push it, but $25 flat is what I would pay for a game like this with let's say, um, with let's say six maps and three different game modes, at least. Um, everything else is the exact same. I would, I would probably pay a good $20 for this game, as is, because of the combat's so good. Um, but as a conceptual tech demo, it's really, really good and well worth your time. Um, there is no investment in this other than heart and soul, other than having to give your email to someone, to another, to another, uh, give your email to another, uh, to another group. But other than that, it is really good. I'm glad, I'm glad that I waited. I'm glad that I kept this on my wish list, which goes to show that the wish list, you know, is not, you know, it's not, you know, is not committal. But you should probably keep stuff on your wish list if you ever think you might someday probably maybe not really maybe play something definitely keep it on your wish, wish list this is one of those games and same with uh, same with uh, same with uh, Zero, Zero Ops that it's worth keeping it on your wish list for that one day where it might get done um, this goes for any game really on Steam the wish, the scenes wish list is powerful. It's not just powerful for you as a consumer. It's powerful for developers. Powerful for Steam, um, because whatever game is wish listed a lot goes to the Steam front page. Um, so if you like this game, at least wish list it. Um, if you want a fun third-person shooter, come and try it out. It's free. Um, there is no, there. This is not monetized at all. Um, I don't know if it will be monetized or not, but again. Um, if it releases in a condition like this, um, with absolutely no added features other than more maps, I would say it should be worth no more than $20. If it adds the features of uh, what they were going for originally, being able to take a ship into space and fight up there, big maps, I would say maybe 30 or 40 it would be worth it. With a good amount of maps, good amount of, everything that comes with their, 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 their thinking, their, uh, the design they're going for. But um, in this state, I would I would pay twenty dollars for this with a couple of maps, couple of new guns, couple of things, uh, you know, things that fill out the game more than just one map and a few guns and one, two game modes. All right, but anyway, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I really, I, I, I really <laughs> I do appreciate watching out this video. It lost me a lot. I lost me a few words to check out. The stuff on the screen, including their story, their story left from the 2040s, a uh, my first book, and every, uh, which is available on Amazon. Uh, which the physical version is available on Amazon, and and, and the um, and the digital version is available on uh, my Google Drive. Um, it is a sci-fi adventure war novel where it follows the twins of friends going mission to a different cool uh, near future science uh, in a uh, science fiction action adventure war novel where he followed the twins of friends go mission to a different world they've been the last 15 years. All right, so that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Also check out my demon art where I post fifty orgs and short stories. Yeah, that'll be it for this video. Let me know. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this. I would definitely want to play more of it, but 
Um, I'll definitely play. I'll definitely play it as updates. At least play the major updates as always. Uh, but now let me know if you want to see more of the conceptual demo. Maybe playing more of that A game type, seeing if they could win or siege, as it's called. Uh, but yeah. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I guess see you in the game.